Coupling up in COVID has proved hard, not just for people. Pretty much every one of our breeding programs that's uh, across Australia has been impacted in one way or another. More than a year into the pandemic, snap border closures and lockdowns continue to affect conservation efforts around the country. Particularly for the animals where there's a, an annual breeding cycle or just where the, the numbers are so low in the wild and, and making sure that you've kept that genetic diversity, which is something uh, good zoos really focus on. Previously routine movements of animals over state lines are now anything but. We've done border transfers where we've had South Australian my staff at one side of the border, and Murrabee staff and zoo staff at another side of the border. For the critically endangered orange-bellied parrot, getting to Tasmania at the right time for release is crucial. Keepers managed the task last year with birds that have been bred in captivity boosting stocks in the wild. And that particular bird over the last decade has had many times where its population was less than 30 individuals left in the entire world. That can be the difference between saving that species from extinction or not. The problems even extend across international borders. We've got a really important project to, to bring southern white rhinos as an insurance population. You know, to try and bring rhinos over from Africa in this environment just is not going to be possible. It's not just on a conservation front that zoos have been doing it tough during the pandemic. The financial impacts of lockdowns and restrictions have also been significant. Administrators in Adelaide hope higher vaccination rates in coming months will help humans and animals alike. Rory McLaren, ABC News, Adelaide.